Hey guys, Mr. Shabu here. I'm going to show you how to downgrade from 5.1 to 5.0.1 or 5.0. Well, to do that, you're going to need iFaith, which is right here. I'll have that in the description below. You can check down below right now if you want. First of all, open up iFaith. My bad. Alright, this is the part yeah, the guys have to pay attention. Um, first of all, if you have your I your blobs, SSH blobs, you should have it, then you would just have to go to build sign with IPSW. If you don't, you go to show available SSH catches on server. This dump is if you already are if you're about to get the SSH blobs, like if you're on 5.0.1 and you want to get that blob before you update, then you do that. If you don't, you should already, the city already backs up your blobs so you won't have to worry about that. So you have to go to show available SSH catches on the server. Click that. And then you just have to plug in your device. It's already, my device is already plugged in. And then it's going to start. So it's going to ask you, which do you want to download, 4.3.3, which I have, or 5.0.1. I want 5.0.1, so I'm going to click there. Now, now it's going to download the blob. Where do you want it to be downloaded? I'm going to put it into the desktop. Then it's going to download the blob. Wait. And it's right here. Right there, that's the blob. Uh, let me just take this out of the way. So now you have to go back to the menu, and now this is when you go to. Uh, you have to build the sign blob. So now it's gonna look for your sh blob, which you already already done, which I just showed you, and you open it, and it's gonna download it. Now, if you already have an IPSW, you you don't you can just go to browse for the IPSW, and now save more time. If you don't, you tell the download for me, which is what I don't have. So it's going to download it with the blobs in it. Because Apple, if you're an older version, like now iPad 2 or 4S, you can go, hey, even though it stopped signing, you can still get it. Because I think Apple is still signing those firmwares. I'm not sure. So it's going to download it for you. Let that do that for you. Come back to you when it's done. And this should be happening if you have finished downloading the IPSW. Now it's going to start detecting the IPSW and it's going to finish. Whatever. Now, now it's going to build it. And this, is, I'm going to leave it on because this doesn't take that much. It's going to open IPSW, put all the information so you'll be able to restore. As you can see, I have the IPSW over here somewhere there so it just downloads through the program but doesn't put it on the desktop I'm guessing I don't see it Because, wait, now I know why. It downloads it, then once it's finishing with all the IPSW stuff, it's going to put it to your desktop or whatever you want it to be saved.
No, I was going to start finishing with IPSW. And now there's IPSW right here. So I was going to ask you to put your device in Pwn DFU mode. And I've already done that, so I'll have to. Just close the program, open iTunes, Shift, Restore. And there it is. Let it extract the IPSW, and now you should be on your way. Oopsies. You have to put it back into Pondy if you want to do that. Let's try this again. Shift restore. That only happened because my device was unplugged for a second, so let me do it again. Because as you can see, as you saw, it was said my iPhone, and then it showed iPhone. It said Polaris iPhone and then iPhone. There's two showing up there, so it messed it up. It didn't detect it correctly. So now I let it extract the IPSW, it should be working. See, now we're in business. Come back to you guys once it's done. Hey guys, and there, it's done. Let me show you guys that it's on 5.0.1. Network. Everything about, my bad. And there. Version 5.0.1. Hope you like this video. This is Mr. Fashia. We'll sign off.